Hi everyone, welcome back to Plascon Plastics. If you look here, we have a sealed Lego set. Lego set 6862 Superman. And if you look here, we have the limited edition exclusive anniversary edition of the Star Wars Lego set featuring the snow version of Han Solo. Now what do these things have in common? Well, they're both made out of Lego because today we're gonna to be talking about what's inside of a Lego brick. So you might think to yourself, I know what's inside of a Lego brick. It's magic, it's creativity, it's the excitement and joys of youth. But you're wrong, it's ABS plastic. And today we're gonna to talk about it. ABS plastic is short for acrylonitrile butadine styrene. And it contains a whole family of different assortments of ABS plastic. ABS plastic is often used in injection molding, but has different applications as well. With Lego bricks, each brick is individually injection molded. And because of the assortment of these bricks, Lego has hundreds and thousands of different injection molding machines around the world. In fact, if you were to count up all the Lego minifigures, you would see that this is actually the world's biggest population of 4 billion figures. ABS plastic is also used in 3D printing. However, it is not as easy to use as another common plastic with 3D printing, PLA. The reason why ABS plastic is more difficult is because it is much more temperature sensitive. This means that warping during the 3D printing process can occur, as well as cracking or additional warping during the cooling phase. Working with ABS does take some understanding of plastic and 3D printing and is a little more difficult than other plastics just to jump right in. ABS plastic is extremely hard. That is actually one of the reasons why Lego chooses it for their bricks. It is extremely scratch resistant. However, because of that, it doesn't bend as easily as some other plastics and therefore can be brittle or cracked. You may also find ABS plastic in construction applications, such as wall sockets or the outside of power tools. You can also find them often in face guards or shields. ABS plastic often comes in large sheets as well. This makes it great to use to create products that don't require molding. ABS can be easily cut, heated, and folded into different shapes. This is why the custom car community often uses ABS plastic to create things like side skirts, spoilers, and front splitters. At Plascon Plastics, we also use ABS plastic, but not in our injection molding machines. We often use it in machining during the prototyping phase. For example, at Plascon Plastics, we made this prototype folding crate here. So it's uh, just like a folding box you would use for groceries or maybe storage in the garage. And it, this is actually a prototype made from ABS plastic. So it is, oh, there it is. So this is actually cut out from large sheets of ABS plastic and then CNC routed to create all four panels and we snapped them together. Now you may have noticed that it was actually kind of difficult for me to lift up these walls. That is because ABS plastic has pretty poor bearing capabilities. So it creates high friction environments. So it shouldn't be used in applications like this. And we only use it during the prototyping phase to see what it looks like. You can probably also hear kind of the brittle tinny nature of this container. That's kind of what I was talking about when I was saying it's a brittle plastic. This is something that if bent or forced could crack under pressure. Another con with ABS plastic is the UV capabilities. Although it is okay in weather applications, there are definitely a lot of other substitutes. At last, ABS plastic is a number seven plastic. If you haven't seen our plastic categorization videos, I suggest you check them out. Number seven plastics is all the other types of plastics. Because they're all mixed into this one group, they have a very low recycling rate. And by very low, I mean maybe 0% maybe 1% at best. So ABS plastic is rarely, if ever, recycled. I hope you learned a little bit more about ABS plastic today. If you have any questions on injection molding or plastic production in general, please leave a comment or visit our website at plasconplastics.com. If you have a higher level engineering question, I suggest emailing us that question as our marketing team can't really focus and gear down on those questions in the comments. 